I would li now like to introduce uh, Arkady Dvorkovic, who is the president of FIDE. Uh, uh, hello, uh, hello everyone, uh, and um, uh, I'm honored to be a, a part uh, of uh, uh, this year, uh, London Chess Conference, uh, uh, the Chess and Technology Online Conference, um, uh, and this is the uh, title of um, uh, this year event. Uh, uh, I believe uh, it's uh, uh, really relevant to the today's uh, environment, and uh, I would like to praise organizers uh, and uh, thank everyone involved. Uh, FIDE has supported this conference uh, this year uh, officially, uh, and uh, it is going along with the first ever online FIDE Congress uh, uh, that by itself is a uh, 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 great technological achievement. Of course, uh, there is nothing special in this technology. We just uh, uh, taking all people uh, online uh, using um, uh, Zoom and uh, other means, uh, but uh, uh, that's a unique experience for uh, most of the participants. Uh, and we had all commission meetings uh, uh, and already the FIDE Council meeting. Today we'll have the Zonal Council and tomorrow the General Assembly meeting uh, using uh, uh, those uh, tools. Uh, uh, and uh, we will even vote uh, uh, secretly using one of the <clears throat> online platforms that had been developed in uh, Europe, uh, which is called VVOTE. Uh, so let's uh, uh, turn to the first uh, uh, slide, which is more uh, like a table of content. Uh, and um, uh, I will uh, uh, speak today about a few things. Uh, uh, first is the player's experience, uh, both uh, um, uh, the OTB equipment uh, that is uh, developing um, uh, very quickly uh, and online chess which is uh, uh, the biggest uh, technological challenge uh, for uh, for the modern chess mm -hmm. uh, second uh, would be the uh, fun or spectators experience um, uh, that um, uh, people are getting by watching um, uh, chess uh, uh, both um, uh, pgn broadcast and video uh, streaming uh, that is uh, uh, that became very popular uh, lately, uh, especially during the last few months, uh, with the involvement of uh, the best players, including the world champion Magnus Carlsen, Hikaru Nakamura, uh, Alexander Kostinyuk, and uh, others. Uh, and also, we already have um, artificial intelligence based highlights uh, for the long tournaments that make it uh, uh, exciting for uh, mass audience. Uh, uh, the third one is fair play, uh, and I will uh, talk about this uh, in a bit more detail um, uh, later on. Um, uh, contributing to better education uh, using chess technologies and chess, um, uh, chess uh, uh, practices. Um, uh, professional services that can be obtained uh, using uh, modern technologies, modern uh, internet platforms, uh, and uh, uh, finally, artificial intelligence-based uh, uh, technologies, uh, including uh, uh, studying uh, uh, the uh, scientific foundation of chess using AI, but also improving AI itself uh, by using chess uh, as, a, uh, as a tool. So let me turn to the first uh, uh, topic, uh, the next slide, uh, the player's experience. Uh, uh, we are coming from the world uh, where we had uh, uh, mostly DGT uh, boards uh, and uh, clocks. Um, uh, it was almost a monopoly. We have a number of uh, new solutions now. So DGT is now working in the competitive uh, uh, environment. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the boards and clocks are improving, of course. Uh, uh, personally, I don't know whether it is uh, 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 that we are going to see any revolution uh, in this uh, uh, equipment uh, during the next couple of uh, years, uh, but there are attempts uh, to change uh, the way how those technologies uh, work, uh, including uh, uh, having uh, uh, sensors uh, uh, not necessarily uh, inside the uh, board uh, end pieces, uh, but to simplify those solutions using modern uh, modern technologies um, to make it much lighter and cheaper, which is really important uh, to provide those technologies for uh, the higher number of people to all uh, federations all across, uh, all across the world. Also, I'm sure that we will see integrated solutions where we don't need separate uh, boards and uh, clocks uh, and uh, that, will, um, uh, that will improve uh, uh, the access uh, to, uh, to uh, those modern technologies uh, and simplify broadcast. Uh, I also saw uh, quite a number of uh, uh, solutions using uh, virtual reality uh, 
technologies, um, uh, including specialized glasses, where you can basically play against a virtual Magnus Carlsen or, the, or virtual uh, Robert Fisher, even, uh, even uh, when you can see uh, the guy on the other side of the board uh, and uh, uh, move pieces without having those pieces uh, uh, in front of you, uh, just virtual pieces. But you have the full uh, uh, like, uh, complete feeling uh, that you, uh, you are in front of the chessboard uh, and you can play uh, a real game uh, uh, while um, uh, being anywhere, uh, uh, sitting anywhere in the world. Uh, we'll see whether those uh, solutions uh, will uh, be comfortable enough, enough for uh, people to play with and uh, cheap enough also to be accessible. Uh, a second part of players' experience is, of course, online. Uh, and um, uh, while uh, before um, the online uh, um, chess was mostly chess uh, between uh, uh, a player uh, and a computer, uh, or uh, just for training, uh, uh, no, no, uh, sorry, yeah, here, yeah, still here, uh, or just for training purposes, uh, now uh, we, uh, uh, we have the boom in uh, uh, online playing. Uh, we already have. Uh, uh, well, clearly above 50 million people uh, playing online, uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, already around 6 million people playing every day. Um, uh, so numbers are growing, uh, uh, and uh, uh, there is uh, quite a competition among, uh, uh, among uh, um, the best uh, platforms, including chess.com, of course, the biggest one, Lee Chess. Uh, Chess24, which uh, uh, made uh, big investments, including acquiring some uh, uh, private uh, money from the market. Uh, and uh, uh, this year, uh, we were happy to use those things uh, to, uh, to have even the FIDA official events. Uh, uh, but of course, uh, there are many things uh, to, uh, to do still uh, uh, to make this uh, really official and really formal. Uh, yesterday, the FIDA Council uh, pre-approved uh, tentatively the online uh, um, chess regulations. Uh, and uh, if uh, tomorrow the General Assembly will uh, uh, give the Council the authority to uh, finally confirm, uh, well, approve those things, uh, we'll have uh, the official chess rules uh, for online playing, uh, which will bring, uh, I think, a kind of revolution to, uh, to the way we, uh, we have uh, official events. Uh, the main hope we have is for hybrid chess, where players uh, are playing from their locations, but under arbiter's control, uh, which uh, means that uh, we uh, would be able to use uh, hybrid chess even for rating purposes, uh, rather than just for, uh, just for playing. Uh, and uh, I think already in January we will have zonal events uh, uh, where uh, players will um, uh, qualify for the World Cup using hybrid chess. Uh, and, uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's already not the future, that's today. Uh, but uh, for online chess, there are many behavioral aspects, of course, uh, especially in terms of fair play, but not only. Uh, there is uh, this uh, trash talk and other things uh, uh, that uh, should be resolved. That can be done technologically as well, uh, by using filters, by using uh, 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 big data analysis, uh, uh, but uh, it's the future. Uh, we do not have this uh, at this point. Next slide, please. Uh, uh, now, the fun experience. Uh, the biggest challenge uh, the FIDE has uh, is to attract sponsors uh, to chess, to attract partners. Uh, and uh, the way how we uh, show the games, uh, the way how we make show out of chess uh, is, uh, uh, criti uh, is critical and it is critically important. Uh, uh, we have new technologies that allow us to uh, do it uh, with uh, much higher quality. <clears throat> uh, uh, that includes both game broadcasting and uh, video streaming, uh, as, I, as I mentioned already. Uh, I, um, uh, one of the companies uh, had recently uh, showed me a nice solution for uh, game broadcasting, where they put uh, just a simple gadget, uh, uh, the iPhone or Samsung is uh, Android um, uh, platform uh, uh, on top of the board, uh, and uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, the video that the phone gets from the board uh, uh, is transferred to PGN. Uh, the, uh, well, the pre uh, precision rate uh, is about 97% uh, right now, 96, 97%. So not 100% not and we cannot rely fully uh, on this for uh, big official events. But I think uh, that has a uh, very good future for kids event, for youth events, uh, where the uh, lots of players uh, and uh, we can easily 
uh, get uh, the broadcast without using uh, expensive DGT boards or, uh, or the similar boards. Uh, of course, the way uh, we have the online commentary, the way how uh, chess audience can interact uh, with uh, uh, with the chess hall, uh, uh, how to provide for virtual presence. Uh, those things are still to be developed to provide uh, for uh, full fun experience. Uh, but we can, uh, well, we are sure that we can uh, show some of the examples of that of already during the upcoming World Championship match in Dubai uh, this year. Next one, please. Uh, fair play. Uh, yesterday, uh, we also had uh, a revolutionary decision uh, by the feed council that should be uh, of course approved by the general assembly as well and put into the form of documents uh, where we will start using statistical evidence uh, as one of the possible proofs uh, of uh, cheating uh, by uh, chess players uh, uh, the statistical evidence uh, can play an important role for online uh, chess uh, of course in uh, combination uh, as, as a rule with video uh, evidence uh, and other things but sometimes when it is uh, when the statistical evidence is prevailing uh, we can uh, even uh, try to use the single proof uh, of uh, cheating. Uh, FIDE is uh, uh, committed uh, to be uh, tough and strong on that, uh, so uh, to show the world that we are not tolerating cheating, uh, uh, and uh, with the adoption of those rules, uh, we'll be able to uh, kick off with this new technology uh, starting from uh, January officially. Uh, it's not just about uh, uh, cheating with using uh, computer hints, but also game fixing, uh, title fixing, uh, and other things. And we will use uh, technology uh, to, uh, to check those things as well, uh, including uh, video analytics. Uh, uh, VAR uh, uh, is, uh, is going to be a part not uh, uh, a part of the story, not just for football or whatever, basketball, volleyball, but for chess uh, as well. Uh, and uh, we are working uh, on those technologies with some companies. Uh, and I think uh, while being tough on, on those things, uh, we should develop uh, a right chess culture. People should know that uh, 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 it's uh, a good habit not to cheat <laughs> and not to fix any things. Uh, uh, it should be started from the childhood, of course, uh, but, uh, uh, but still the punishment uh, sh should remain as a negative stimulus, uh, not, to, uh, not to stimulate cheating. If there will be uh, further questions on this topic, I will be happy to uh, explore uh, this topic uh, in more detail. Uh, and uh, uh, the next one, uh, uh, I'll go very quickly through the rest uh, to allow time for questions uh, and answers. Uh, next slide, please. Mm. Um, chess for Education. Uh, it's, uh, it is by far our uh, the most important program, but we are still uh, lagging behind in terms of uh, how we move uh, forward. Of course, the European Chess Union achieved more than other continents in terms of educational chess. But the important thing is that uh, uh, we need to, to use a mix of uh, online education platforms uh, and uh, uh, the live teacher's experience, um, uh, how they use chess to improve educational capabilities of kids, uh, not just to uh, Teach, uh, teach kids how to play chess, uh, uh, to use chess how um, to, to use chess to improve behavioral skills uh, of uh, kids, uh, how to manage uh, losses and uh, wins, uh, how to think strategically, how to be attentive uh, to all aspects of what is going on on the board. Uh, uh, it improves mathematical skills, of course, uh, and uh, uh, chess is a technology by itself that can be used to, uh, to produce a better world. Uh, next one. <clears throat> and of course, we can use, uh, uh, as I already mentioned, online platforms to uh, provide uh, um, uh, career opportunities and professional services to um, uh, the whole chess audience. Uh, we know that uh, uh, Play Magnus Group uh, has developed already a platform for trainers. Uh, uh, there's a number of others. And uh, FIDE itself uh, has started to develop its chess ID platform that will combine mm -hmm. Uh, the chess community into uh, the broad um, internet-based uh, platform uh, with all professional services available. And uh, finally, I think we have the last slide, right? Yes, the last one, AI. Uh, so while before uh, we thought about AI mostly in terms of uh, the computer programs uh, and uh, now already AI-based uh, software are playing against each other, uh, 
uh, uh, I know that, uh, and uh, many people know that, for instance, Vladimir Kramnik uh, is working with uh, Google uh, to uh, to uh, find on the uh, base of fundamental science, basically, uh, the ways how we can uh, think about the game and, and improve it, uh, even thinking about changing some of the fundamental rules, like casting uh, or Anpasan uh, uh, or other things. Uh, and he found many interesting things uh, using AI as a basis for this uh, uh, analysis. Uh, um, and uh, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, the AI uh, solutions uh, are being improved by using chess as, a, as an instrument, as a tool. Uh, so by uh, learning uh, how, uh, how AI-based uh, uh, brain, <laughs> uh, so to say, uh, is playing chess, uh, how it finds the solutions, uh, uh, AI uh, uh, engineers uh, are able to improve uh, those AI solutions. That's a very interesting application of using AI in chess. And of course, chess is a good tool to train students how to use AI, since uh, chess is a closed model. It's not an open structure. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, limited number of pieces and limited number of squares uh, so it's a simple model for uh, for ai but to train people how to use ai it's uh, uh, it's probably the best model uh, and uh, uh, we should be proud of that so that's it for my uh, uh, speech and uh, i'm open for uh, any questions if you want uh, i will be happy to uh, also continue answer your uh, questions via facebook for instance i have uh, my page so uh, please uh, feel free to send me questions uh, i'll do my best to answer your questions uh, in, a, uh, in a flexible way thank you well i'd like to thank arkady for a very um informative and stimulating pre uh, presentation so thank you thank Ar you thank you um, thank you